here we are. It's a, it's a Friday morning, Friday, February 16th. You know what that is? This is the day, you know? This is the day that, that we, well, that's Mr. Foley right there. He's, uh, he's, he's our cameraman for the Wakanda series. And uh, this is me, T, from the Patterson Sacred Trade to Tibet. And as you may or may not know, this is the day for the, um, that we're going to see the first day in South Africa. We're going to see the movie Black Panther. Okay, so now uh, you just have a little Wakanda. Now you say, well, Wakanda, where's Wakanda at? Remember, the earlier video we explained that, you know, Wakanda, well, to me, this is a map of south, uh, uh, southern uh, part of Africa, you know. Uh, uh, so here you have uh, Uganda, here Rwanda, Burundi, like that, uh, Tanzania. Now, they say here's Kenya over here, Ethiopia, up there, South Sudan. Um, this is uh, Lake Victoria. So I think that uh, I personally put Wakanda, some people put it right here. I put it right here in this area right here. You kind of over there like that. That's where I put it, but uh, I don't care where they put it, okay? Then down here at Tanzania, we go down here Malawi, which I have to get to Malawi. I really like Malawi. Uh, Mozambique, been to Mozambique. Zambia, I really love Zambia. Zimbabwe, like that. And uh, yeah, Botswana, of course, South Africa here. Now the thing is, they say that a lot of the influence of Black Panther, it's it's uh, it's, it's influenced by well, by Kenya for the Maasai, other places uh, around around all around Africa. But there's a lot of concentration like language, for instance, they're using is Tosa, you know, Isi Tosa is the language. And that's it's predominantly in the in South Africa area here, and uh, you know, here's a Swaziland here, South Africa surrounds as well. But you have Swaziland and, and Mozambique, and then it goes like that. There's Lesotho. It's a mountain. It's a mountain region, and, and it's completely engulfed by South Africa. You see, so in a way, you can actually almost take Lesotho and put it up there, put it up there. You know, because the mountain range, nobody can get to it. Actually, that's what saved Lesotho during the during the um, during the um, the Bayado days of apartheid, because it was difficult for them to get there. So it was the enclave. So a lot of freedom fighters were in Lesotho. Anyway, let, let, let's get off that. The reason why we're here right now, as we prepare, is come on over this way. This is my, you know, just for, for oh, I forgot, this is a, um, a lecture or a talk I gave at, uh, at Rhodes University over there in Gramstown. Anyway, uh, forgive that we just moved into this new space, so just, just forgive the, 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 the appearance. And I took out all my African stuff. Now, the African garments, um, uh, this here, it's a tr it's traditional fabric for the for the, uh, for the Tulsa uh, folks, and uh, my wife's a designer. She's African, you know, South African. She's African, so 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 all my stuff is authentically African. The stuff that she made, and also I got stuff that I got in uh, in New York, but I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, she does embroidery, so she does that, and we just all we did was just change the, the pockets. We use there straight up, but I just change that way because I like that thing, and I like pockets. Okay, so that not gonna. I may or may not use that one. We'll we'll see what happens. Oh, here. This is a thing that my wife made. I really like this one here. I like the buttons. I like. I just like the style and everything like that. Got a, I think it has pockets someplace. It's hidden pockets like that. Oh, this fabric. Everybody likes this one. It's a nice fabric. Again, this is a African fabric. This that you see closer stuff. This other fabric. She, she has a really unique eye. So I really like that one. Uh, this go oh, this garment here, this was made, this started by a, a guy in Dumbaza, uh, township of Dumbaza, uh, uh, and what, what he, he started, but it didn't work right, and so my wife redid it. I really like the pocket. So, cat, leopard, or panther, if you will, the panther family. Like that. that might be appropriate to wear. I mean, think about that. Hold that one over there. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, this is a, I like this color, so whatever I had my wife make this one too. African fabric, like that. She gets a lot of stuff. Oh, this is the, this is the thing that we did that she made, like, a, like a, in, in less than a day. She took this fabric, and then she had this matching fabric, so we went to this wedding, and so she had the matching, matching thing to that. Oh, this is a, almost, almost like a commercial stuff here. Wow. From Africa, you know. Mm. Yes, really, I really like this top. Dancers and their dramas. Uh, it's, it's really, really it's good for musicians, you know. So I think I bought this in Cape Town from a shop in Cape Town. Uh, this is, oh, what the heck is this? I don't know, I think I just like it. I think it came from the States, but that's not even African. Uh, oh, this is, this is interesting. This is from, I bought this, here it is. Wow. The African Touch Made in Swaziland. And I bought this from Swaziland, and as you see. Got the Koi print. 
there you go. Oh. Original people of, South, of Southern Africa. So anyway, so I like this shirt too, but I don't know. I want to be more, you know, I have to say ethnic looking, whatever they say, you know, yeah. um, today. Oh, this is a piece that um, a brother from uh, from Nigeria gave today. I like to look at the horn. I did, I, I did a commentary one time. I had the Henry Dumont thing, but this is psychedelic. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what is Oh, no, this is, uh -huh. this is from Guatemala. Sorry. Uh, oh, here's one of the things I think I got from New York. You know, uh, I used to go to the uh, uh, African Street Festival in Brooklyn every year. And I, every year I buy new pieces. One of those from there. Like oh, this is oh, this is one of my long-standing. Long, in the nineties, I used to get nineties. Wow. And uh, I've actually been wearing African top since the sixties. You know, I wish I have some pictures actually from that. But anyway, this is a pantin thing. I really, I used to wear this all the time. I like this. Oh, this is from a, d a designer in Cape Town, African guy. Mm. It's a very unique top. I really like this top. It's got a little Palace. pocket right here in the back. You know, I got some gum. Uh, you, uh, and I, I wear this not a lot, but yeah, I wear this sort of a lot. I like that a lot. Oh, this is the royal, royal colors. Royal colors. Uh, I got pockets too. I got pockets. Oh, I shouldn't have stuff in these pockets. Oh, well, this is a cap. A cap. This cap goes with it too. Uh, oh, this is a this is a thing that by fraternity brother. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, Dr. James Kanye uh, gifted to me and. Uh, He's out of he's out, he well, he's a the head of Africana Studies Department at King College in New Jersey, but I, I wear this sometimes too. I like that. That might be. Oh, this is one of these I bought in New York too. African Street Festival. I don't know where this wow. is from. What country is from? But it's beautiful. This can be Wakanda's. Yeah, this I can wear this today. This is a possibility. Wow. Oh, put this up to side. Oh, yeah, here's another one. Oh. There we go. Oh. This is a great. This is a competition. Yeah, this is this clothes competition. This is my wife made this one too. I really like oh. this one too. Mm. But I ain't got no pockets. That means it's out of the competition. Yeah. <laughs> so this, sorry, man. So I think that the two that I want to choose from is either the one with the panther on it or this one here. I think I'm going to do this one this here. One. You know why? Yeah. Only because it's more formal. It's the first day. I'm, I'm going to see this more than one time. Maybe yeah. I'll come next time. I'll come with this. Yeah. Trying to organize a, a trip with uh, the international students yeah. here in the, in the, at the University of Fort Hare. So yeah, I think I'm going to wear this one today because it got the pants. One second. There's a, a cap that goes with this. Oh, here's a cap. Hey. Oh. That's right. There's a cap that goes with this too. So, so that's the one we to the pre to the pre first day of, 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 uh, Black, of, Panther. of Black Panther. Yeah, we're gonna, we got to go down to um, to East London. It's like two hours to get down there. An hour and a half, well, two hours to get down there. Yeah. So we that's why we're up so early. It's like almost 7 o'clock now. we got to leave in about an hour. Okay. So I'm excited. I know the pitch is not until to, to noon, but I'm the kind of cat. Look. I'm a cinephile, you know what I mean? What, but, but that basically means that when I go to a movie, I go way before it, I make it good seats, I see the whole film, roll the credits up until the union butt at the end. That's the kind of film person I am. So we'll see you in a little while. Wakanda. Wakanda. Oh, wait.